So today we're going to be using some new products. Most of them are new. If there's anything that is not new, I will let you know. But they're all affordable products. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So let's dive in and I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using. I already have my skincare on and my SPF. And I'm actually going to, this is the only thing that's not drugstore. This came in my Derm Store mystery bag. And wow, this is so good. This is the Ren Perfect Canvas Clean Primer. I didn't know this was going to be, it's supposed to be like mattifying. But wow, this blurred the pores. I am so impressed. I am going to do it on one side and so that you guys can see I was really really very impressed and then we'll do the other side I'm gonna move you up closer so you can see it so I'm gonna give it a second to dry and then I'll come back and you'll see how much smaller my pores look my skin looks a little red today. I went in for a facial today and um, the treatment that they did left me a little red, but that happens to me sometimes when I go for a, for a facial because I usually try to do something for my dark spots and my pores. So you do have to rub this in and it does sink into the skin and it leaves you a little bit tacky, but as it dries, it feels better. So I'm actually going to work, start working on my eyes first and let this really sink in. But I'm going to move you up to see if you can tell the difference. This is the side with the pores. You can still see them. I mean, I have huge pores, but look at this side. This side is, you can really, really see them. They're so much larger. And I think the more this sits, the better it gets. So that's why I want to let it dry for a little bit. But after my entire makeup is done, you're gonna, it looks really, really smooth. I was so impressed. So I'm gonna put some on this side and then I'm gonna start with the eyes, which I normally never do. And the primer that I'm using, it's also not drugstore, but this is the first thing I grabbed. This is the Sigma eyeshadow base primer and this is an Ignite. I love this. I have several. That's such a good primer. It leaves your, your, as you can see, it cancels out any redness or anything like that you have. All right, so the palette that we're going to use today, this looks so much bigger online. <laughs> it's the Crowd Pleaser by Morphe. And the brushes that I'm going to use today, it's a set of brushes that I saw Emily Noel use the other day. And she purchased them on TikTok. And it was like $25 when she purchased them. When I purchased them, they were like $21. And it's a set of 20 brushes. I have not used them. They did send this little bag with it. And she got the bag also. And they all came individually wrapped. So I'm going to show you all the brushes that came. I'm going to show you the face brushes. Some of them are dual ended. Some of them are not. But you have so many brushes here that if they're any good, she liked them. I haven't tried them, so I really can't tell you. But anyway, let me show you the face brushes first because I can't fit them all in my hand. Okay, so th these are all the face brushes. There's, uh, let me see, three, six, seven, ten, eleven face brushes. I'll tell you the truth, I'm not a big fan of these that come like this. I don't know. I never, I, I gotten them before, like in boxes and things like that. And it's not really anything that I use. But some people apparently like them if they include them in sets. And then we have three, six, eight eye brushes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and, and these are kind of small. I think they would be great for, you know, like mature eyes. And if you have hooded eyes, they're kind of small brushes. None of them are humongous, which I appreciate. I don't like when I get really huge brushes in my sets because... To me, it's just harder to work with. All right, so this is the palette. It does not have a mirror. It's very pretty. It's very um, pinky neutral, but right up my alley. Just gonna start with this shade and then just kind of progressively, I'm probably gonna end up using them all. So I'm gonna go here, 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 and then these two. 
Okay, so we're going to start with your right, which is the lightest color. So how have you guys been? Um, I haven't filmed that much lately since my husband's been back uh, from doing the Camino. He's been like super tired, I guess, kind of recuperating from all the walk. He walked a total of 515 kilometers and um, he made almost halfway to uh, Santiago. So the plan is next year we're going to go back and um, we're going to do like this year. We're going to spend like some time, some time together somewhere. I don't think we're going back to Spain. He was thinking about maybe going to Portugal and then from there after I leave he'll continue his, his, uh, his walk because I can't do the walk. I wish I could. I was so jealous of him being able to do that and I'm so glad that he was able to do it because he's been wanting to do it for a long time and it just it wasn't possible with taking care of my dad so I'm glad that you know he was able to do that for himself because my husband doesn't do that much for himself he's the type of person that he does for others but really doesn't do much for himself Okay, so right now I use these two right here, and now I'm going to use these two, the two darker ones. So I'm going to get a slanted brush, and I'm going to go into the, the lighter of the two, and go on the outer edge. It's a little powdery, but I really don't see any fallout. Of course, today that I don't do my my foundation first I'm not gonna have any fallout okay and I'm gonna wipe that brush and I'm gonna go into the darker one with the same brush and I'm not gonna do my lower lash line yet so did you guys did any of you guys purchase the new Natasha Denona or the Mario or the Huda Beauty palette. I purchased the Mario. I have not done a, I'm gonna use the first brush and just blend. I have not done the video yet. Uh, everybody else is doing it and I wanted to do a drugstore one, drugstore video, affordable product video, because not everything is drugstore. Some of it you have to get at Ulta or Target, you know, specific places. But anyways, um. So I haven't done the Mario yet. I was excited when I saw that Huda had, was announcing a new palette. But when I saw it, I kind of like changed my mind. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that for now. And then if I feel like I have to darken the outer edge a little more, I will. So I'm going to go into this one here. This is 100%. And then the other one is Pushover, which it seems lighter to me. So I'm going to use my pinky, well, it looks glittery, maybe it's a good thing I did my, I didn't bring any wipes with me though. Oh, it almost feels like a topper, oh, okay, let me try the other one, maybe the other one is and then we can just put that one on top. But anyways, when I saw the palette, you know, the other one is a regular shadow. I kind of changed my mind, um, there's like three glitter shades I believe in it. That's a lot of glitter for someone that doesn't really care for glitter. And it's like heavy glitter. There's at least one or two that look very chunky. And I just, those I wouldn't use at all. And then when I look at the other shadows on there, I really have so many of them. I was even, I was going through my Sydney Grace eyeshadows last night. All the singles that I have. And I'm going to use a little bit of the dark one. And I was able to dupe the palette, except for the glitter, because I don't have glitter. I don't think Sydney Grace has glitters. But even if they do, I wouldn't buy them. So I thought that was interesting, and I thought about creating a look with that, with what I put together. Okay, so I'm going just straight into the lighter one. This time I didn't go into the topper. I'm going to use that on top of this. 
So I don't think I'm going to get that one. I think I'm going to pass. The Natasha Denona looked, I don't know, at first they were saying it was a purple palette. When you really look at it, it doesn't look all that purple. I mean, it does have purple in it, don't get me wrong. But there's a lot of pink in there. So I'm kind of debating on that one. But guys, I just decluttered a bunch of eyeshadow palettes. Probably at least 50. Some including, I have the Love palette from Natasha Denona, which I really don't care for that much. That's one of the ones that I'm decluttering. And um, some Pat McGrath. I put the Pat McGrath and the uh, Natasha Denona on my Mercari. But I, yeah, I declutter a lot. So it's like, I, feel, I don't feel like I should go and buy anything else. Okay, I'm going to go into that topper, which is 100%. And Christmas is coming, and there's not even that much I'm going to get from the, from the Sephora VIB sale. I have a couple of things on there because I do have gift cards. But I don't know. I'm not going to go over the gift card value, that's for sure. All right, so I'm going to leave that like that for now. All right, so we're going to go into our complexion now. And I'm trying, this is a new Sabibi BB cream. And it's a Korean BB cream. It's from the brand Mizon or Mizon. It's a multifunction formula, snail repair, intensive BB cream. SPF 50 plus PA plus plus plus. Wrinkle Improvement Brightening UV Protection Effect High Coverage Snail Blemish Balm for Bright and Radiant Skin. And I got mine in the shade 27 and I found this on Amazon. Shade 27 was one of the darker shades that I had, that it had. I'm not sure it's dark enough for me. We're going to find out. I think I took too much out. I don't know what I was thinking. Did my face get bigger all of a sudden? What was up? But anyways, I haven't used it, I haven't tried it, but I love Korean BB creams. They have such great coverage. So let's see which, which brush I want to use. Yeah, I'm going to use this one, sculpting brush. Let's see what this looks like. So far it looks like it has nice coverage. here I'm gonna use a different brush this one is a little um, stiffer I think I'm gonna use this one to try to cover it has pretty good coverage that's what I love about Korean BB creams they're so good and I, uh, most of them have really high SPFs, which makes it so, so nice. I didn't think I put any on my chin. What am I doing? I know it's been a while since I filmed, but <laughs> I have pulled all this foundation out and then I don't put any on my chin on my upper lip. Okay, for concealer, we're going to use this one by Sephora. And this is a really nice concealer. And I know it's not a drugstore, but it is affordable. And during the sale, they're going to have it. It's going to be 30% off. They always have the, the Sephora products 30% off. So that's why I wanted to show it to you in case you're interested. It is pretty full coverage. And I really think it's a good concealer. And I have mine in the shade 19.5P. And this is made in Canada. All right, so I'm going to use this brush right here. But it has pretty good coverage. And like I said, they always have this Sephora brand 30% off. So their brand, I like their products, the Sephora brand. That's um, one thing I, I want to get. I want to get the con contour stick. Um, the last time they had the sale, that had been released like not long before the sale so it was like out 
they didn't have my shade, which would be the, the lightest shade. So I wasn't able to get it. So I'm going to try to get that this time. And, um, yeah, I really don't have a lot. I'm going to get the... I'm going to tell you what's on my list. I'm going to get the Sephora brush cleanser, the spray. That is really good for spot cleaning your brushes. And it, you can spray them, clean them. It does a really good job of removing the makeup. And then you can use your brushes right away. They don't, it doesn't stay wet. It's like the Cinema Secret almost. But you don't have to be pulling out a little bowl and you know. To me it's like sometimes if I'm in the mood as soon as I use my brush I'll go ahead and right on my bed I have the spray on my dresser and I just use it right then and there. So I'm going to use a Morphe and this is pretty new. It's called the Sun Undone Smooth Gliding Bronzer Stick. And my friend Kat from Cat's Eye Beauty used this and it looked really pretty on her. I, I did use this one already and I did like it. So I'm going to use the same brush. I like it because it's not very orangey. It spreads really, really easily. Oh, I got mine in the shade. It's a lighter shade. Amber Shores. I'm not sure what shade she has, but she usually gets light shades also so it's probably the same shade if you guys haven't checked her out yet you need to cat is really amazing and she's very supportive she's really trying to help me grow my channel she's so sweet anything that's left over I'm just gonna use down here Okay, for blush, I'm, I'm going to use this one from, make, from Revolution. And this is a dupe. Definitely looks like a dupe to me. They haven't said it's a dupe, but it looks like a dupe to me. To the Milk Makeup, the little jelly sticks. I have one of those, and it's really, really nice. So I'm afraid of putting it straight on my face. So I think I'm going to put it on my hand and try to pick it up with a brush. But this feels cooling. Not as cooling as the Milk Makeup. But it does feel cooling. I'm going to use the same brush. I don't want to keep... I should use different brushes, right? Okay, that's not... The milk one is very pigmented, I think. It doesn't have a scent. And um, the milk makeup lasts a long time. It's really, really nice one. It has several shades. This one is in peach. Um, that doesn't look peachy to me. On the skin, I guess it does look a little peachy. I have to put up a lot on my hand. It does look peachy on my hand. But they did have several different shades. Let me see if I can put it straight on my face. I'm just afraid it's going to pull up the foundation. Nope. That's pretty good. Yeah, that Milk Makeup one is, feels cooling to me when you put it on your skin. And this one a little bit, but not as much. But it's a pretty color. I mean, you, you do have to build it up, but sometimes it's nice. Sometimes it's better to build it up than, you know, sometimes I tend to go with clown cheeks. You can go from pretty to clown cheeks really quick. And I do that a lot. So this is pretty nice. Uh, now, as far as the amount of product in here, I don't know. I don't remember how much is in the milk makeup. This one brings 5.5 grams or 0.3, no, 0.19 ounces. So it doesn't bring a huge amount. So I'm going to use the Morphe Pink Powder. This is a mini. They have a bigger size, but I did get the mini because, again, I don't use that much. You know, I have several pink powders. It's going to take me forever to go through that. So I'm going to put some on my brush and really squish it in there. I'm using this brush right here that is called Pointer Brush. All right. And I'm going to put a little bit on my under eyes. I'm going to go back to my under eyes, but I want to spread the powder first. And I'm basically just going to put it on my T-zone because I really, this foundation doesn't feel super sticky. It feels a little bit sticky, but not too much. So I don't want to go over the cream or the, I don't know what, the jelly. 
br uh, blush because I don't want to take any of that color away. So I'm just, oops. So much for not putting a, a lot of powder on. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit on my brows so that if there's any skincare in there, this will help my brow products stick to my skin or to the, to the uh, brows. And this powder is also very blurring. I'm going to make sure I don't have a lot under my eyes. Okay, so I have used this before and I liked it. I thought it was very, very nice. It's kind of comparable to the um, e.l.f. Their loose powder. I think this is kind of comparable to that. Okay, I also have a highlighter. And this is also from Revolution. And this is called Highlighted Reloaded. Just my type is the shade. Okay, I'm going to use the same brush that I just used for my powder. I'm going to kind of wipe it on the towel I have here. Kind of looked like it had shimmer, but... Once I spread it on my hand, it didn't. I don't know. I'm not sure about this one, guys. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's not too loud, so I give it that. All right, so let's go back to the palette. And I'm going to take this, the light pink, the one that is not a glitter. I'm going to take a little bit of that and go in my inner corner. The palette was nice. I actually, it's a little, it does have a little bit of kick up on the, uh, in the palette. But I'm, I didn't have any fallout, so that's nice. I'm going to use this brush right here and use the darker brown a little bit of my lower lash line I'm going to take a small brush and kind of just flick it out so that it meets the top It doesn't do much, but it just doesn't look like, like it's not blending with the top. I'm going to take a little bit of that topper, put it over here. I'm going to take a little more of the darker brown and use it like right here. All right, so for my brows, I'm only going to use the Morphe. Boy, today is Morphe kind of day brow tease and it's a brow gel and i really don't feel like doing my brows today so we're going to be lazy and we're just going to use the brow gel and this one is nice it's dark enough that i can kind of extend it a little bit it's as close as it's going to get told you before they're not related the friends live living in different cities all right for my mascara i'm going to use the lash blast Plinktopia from uh cover girl and this is a navy blue mascara don't ask me why i pulled the navy blue one i just grabbed it you really can't see it that much anyway if i use a white like my lancome lash primer or or my um essence lash primer the white one you can see the blue a little more, but if I'm using it without a, a primer, you really can't tell that it's blue. But it's open. I want to use it up. Okay, I'm going to finish my mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is with a couple of coats. One coat on my lower lash line. It's okay. It's not one of my favorite mascaras. This is something I will repurchase, even in the black now. But it's open, I need to use it up. I don't need to have dramatic lashes each and every time or each and every day, so it's fine. We'll leave it like that. So for lipsticks, I'm gonna use this one from L'Oreal. And this is a gloss. It's in the shade 100 Mademoiselle Mauve. I actually brought an eyebrow pencil, which was recommended to me by Jen from Jen's Beauty. Um, I'm going to link her channel below she is amazing she does high-end and drugstore like i do but she recommended this one to me because she saw that i like the one from laura mercier that's like a powder pencil 
and this is like a good dupe for it because it's like very 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 close very similar it's very easy to use you do have to sharpen it but you go lightly you don't have to go it's like using a powder on your brows but it works really well and I actually sometimes I do my gel first before I do my pencils so it's okay so used it but I like it it's a lot more affordable than the Laura Mercier okay I'm, the lip liner is this one from Moira and this is in the shade by the way this is made in Italy Roseberry their lip liners are really really good these are very nice I didn't smell anything, but it kind of tastes like a little bit of, um, like fruity. But they're very nice. They're a little thicker than a lot of your lip glosses, but they stick around. They have a nice wear time for lip gloss. You're going to have to reapply, but they're easy to reapply. But as you can see, they're very pigmented. You know, it has a nice, it's my shirt been like that the whole time. You guys, you know, you can dress me up, but you can't take me out because I fall apart and I don't notice that I'm falling apart. And you guys are not telling me. Jeez. Anyways, I'm a mess. Look at this. Look at this. A whole video with my shirt messed up. Let's keep it real, okay? A little too real. All right, so as usual, I didn't put a setting spray when I was uh, doing my makeup, so I'm going to do it now. I'm going to use this uh, blush, this brush right here. This is a, this one doesn't have a name either. This is a new setting spray from LA Girl, the Pro Perfect Oil Control Multitasking Setting Spray. And it has a matte finish, which I actually, oh, it has a nice spray. Okay, maybe I don't need that. Hold on. Hold your horses. Ooh, nice spray. Yes, ma'am. I like that when I'm not attacked by a setting spray. It feels very nice. It's scented. I really don't know what it's scented with, but it's, it's pleasant and it's not very strong at all. So I think that even if you are a person that doesn't like scents, you'll be okay with it. It's very lightly scented. But this is my completed look. So how do I feel about the products? I absolutely love the BB cream. I think it looks beautiful. I'm going to move you guys up so that you can see my pores they're there guys they're not gonna go away okay i have humongous pores but with this primer they actually look nicer you can see my eye look the lip gloss it's very pretty all right so i like the palette is it a one trick pony maybe i mean you can still do like yeah, you can use different combinations there, but I used all the shades. It was fine. I didn't have any fallout. It's pretty. Something that you can stick in your purse. Doesn't have a mirror, but it's fine. I like the blush. It's not as pigmented as the the one by uh, Milk Makeup. I don't know how long it's going to stay on my face. I will get back to you on that, but it feels sort of like the Milk Makeup, but not quite. And it does pretty much dry down it doesn't stay sticky which I love I love the fact that it has a dry down it is not sticky on my face it is not sticky on my hand and it looks nice I don't think it's too much the concealer I've owned for a long time it is a good one if you guys need a you can I think this is a medium to medium full coverage it works for me I can use it without anything underneath and I think it does a pretty good job of you know covering my dark circles I usually I'm happy with this type of coverage unless I'm gonna go for something nice dinner or something like that I may want to cover a little more and then I would just use a um, corrector underneath I brought this powder but I didn't use it but I've used it before actually the um, it's new in my collection but I've used it a couple of times it's the NYX professional mineral matte finishing powder it's very very nice I like it but I use the Morphe one, which I also like. And I like the fact that they offer it in a full size and then the mini size. I believe this was $7. I like this. It looks nice. It doesn't look too warm. It doesn't look, 
I think I blended the whole thing. Sometimes I can't tell if I did or not until I go do my editing and then it's like, girl, what were you thinking? But anyway, I like it. I think it looks pretty. I don't think it's too much. Um, the lip liner I already own and I love the lip liners from Mo Moira. This I already owned. I have another shade also. And this is very pretty and long lasting. I really like this. I really, really like this. I think this is a really nice job. And my makeup stayed on really, really nice without getting super greasy around my nose area, which is where I get more oily. It's still very hot here. It's in the high 80s. So it's still very warm, so I still get very oily. Not very. I'm lying. I don't get very oily, but I do get oily in my T-zone. But this kept it matte. Um... What else is there? I already said I love the foundation. Oh, I love this pencil. This is a good one. This is a really, really, really good pencil. Um, I like the brow gel. I've had that. I've been using it for a while, and I really like it. I think this is where you need a brow gel. It doesn't make your, your brows crunchy. I don't have wild brows, so it pretty much my brows stay wherever I put them. I go a little bit over it with a brow gel, and they stay in place. I don't really have... You know they don't go all over the place and i like the fact that this one is in the shade cold brew and it's dark enough that i can even extend my tail a little bit and i don't have to use a pencil if i don't want to so definitely i think it's a good one what else is there the brushes were nice the ones i used i think they're, they're excellent um for the price i mean there's a little wild few wild hairs here and there you know that you probably have to trim but I think for $21, $25, you get a lot of brushes. And a couple of them, I did see a couple of hairs that shed. But a lot of your brushes, when you first start using them, they're going to shed like that. So I think for the price, you can beat it. I will link them below in case you're interested. Um, I don't think it's going to be an affiliate link. It's just the TikTok link. And, oh, I like the setting spray too. It smells nice. I love the, I love the spray. Look at that nice very gentle and another thing that I brought I didn't use it but I it was, it was in the bag is the Pacifica sunny glow bronzing drops vitamin C cuckadoo plump this is really good and this works really well also if you have a foundation that is too light because it is a little thicker so it does a great job of making your foundation a little more wearable if it's too light so actually that's why I brought it with me because I didn't know if this was going to be too light for me. So I wanted to be prepared and bring something with me. And this does have like a little bit of a glow, but I've used it with foundations and the foundations look beautiful. And I like it. It's very, very nice. All right, you guys. So this is all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I was kind of like all over the place and I'm sorry that I wasn't dressed properly, but with me, what you see is what you get. All right, you guys. I love you, and I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.